Oilers News. CBS News on the hour. Presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Washington, D.C. is under a tornado watch right now and has essentially shut down ahead of strong storms. Weather Channel meteorologist Jen Carfagno. Things are going to change in a big way throughout the entire northeast corridor with storms that come crashing in, the thunder, the lightning, also the risk for strong damaging winds and even an isolated tornado risk. We've got a dual threat today across a big chunk of the eastern half of the country. In the south, the intense heat is back. KTVT TV's chief meteorologist, Scott Padgett, in Dallas. Well, it feels like temperatures 103 to 112. Critical fire threat expanded now to include the Metroplex. Fires can ignite quickly and spray quickly. Three people died when firefighting helicopters crashed near Los Angeles. Major League Baseball just issued suspensions for that big brawl that cleared benches in Cleveland this weekend. Oh, oh my goodness. Here come the benches. That play-by-play -play on NBC Sports Chicago, White Sox shortstop Tim Anderson has been benched now for six games. Guardian third baseman Jose Ramirez will miss three games. Both team managers got one-game suspensions, and some players now face fines. Former Minneapolis cop Tu Tao got another five years in prison for his role in George Floyd's death. I did not commit these crimes. My conscience is clear. But a judge says he was negligent for standing by and watching Floyd die. Floyd's girlfriend, Courtney Ross. I had a particular disdain for Tu Tao that he wasn't claiming any responsibility for the way he spoke to the crowd that day and stopped anyone from helping Floyd. Former President Trump's attorneys have another hour to respond to a request for a protective order limiting Trump on what he can say about his latest indictment. Here's CBS's Nicole Killian. They uh, want to be careful about the type of information that is shared with the former president and his legal team. They don't want that that improperly disseminated and their concern based on some of these posts that the former president has made posting something to the effect of they're coming after me so I'm going to come after you. Trump's also been touting those indictments as accomplishments. The Associated Press reports Exorcist director William Friedkin has died at 87. He was best norm known for directing the horror film but also the Oscar winning film The French Connection. And we are standing by for Tory Lane sentencing in L.A. where he faces more than a decade in prison for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot back in 2020. The rapper was convicted in December of three felonies, including assault. He's been in jail ever since. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 99 degrees.